Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're actually gonna talk about Cowboy Bebop, the live action, unnecessary live action reimagining on it's, Netflix. It's Netflix, so you know what you're gonna get. Yeah, we didn't react to the uh, the first photos because I'm like, this does not count. This is a Netflix reboot that literally nobody wanted. But there is a situation. Uh, the woman who plays Faye Valentine went off on, you said it was Instagram? I think they said it was Instagram. It was on uh, Instagram and she was spending quite a bit of time complaining about people complaining about her not wearing a show accurate costume. Uh, that the show accurate costume would not be possible. And look, we understand that, you know, celebrities take a lot of shit uh, from fans, especially of existing franchises, uh, very popular franchises. Cowboy Bebop is one of the most popular anime series of all time. People are gonna have certain expectations. And when those expectations are not met, they're going to complain. Make comments, yeah. They're going to. And you know, I myself have been, not that I'm anywhere near as, you know, known as this person, but I have, I get shit all the damn time. I mean, you can ask Neon. They're constantly like making comments at me. Uh, you know, negatively. Mm. And, you know, you just have to, like, not read the comments or just move on. Cash the check and move on. Um, now, the problem wasn't what she said so much as how she said it. Yeah, I think that's what, what people are taking an issue with. Uh, no, so here's the thing. Um, again, she's playing Faye Valentine. Uh, the, the photos were uh, released by Netflix. This is a live-action version of Faye, right? This is, a, what's her mm. name, Daniela Panita? 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 Uh, this is a cosplayer, <laughs> which is actually more show accurate now. I know, okay, show accurate. But as a, as a chick, I'm gonna tell you, I would not be comfortable with that outfit. I would also can see where that would be kind of a little bit troublesome when you're trying to do action scenes. People keep bringing up cheerleaders and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, I get it. But I can kind of understand why they made some changes to the costume. I, I get what people are mad about it too, because as somebody who got mad about She-Ra and stuff, I, I get it. I totally know, I understand what you're saying, but I also can kind of see her side of it a little bit too. Yeah, I think I think what is is rubbing people the wrong way is the snark, because she's making comments about, you know, the tissue paper basically getting stuck in her crevices and, and I all have, of that. I have it transcribed, yeah. but I'll read it to you in a minute. But like, you're looking at that one and then you go to the picture uh, the costume, it isn't that much, um, it isn't that much different. I mean, it is, it's not as revealing, but they have the red jacket, they have the yellow shirt, they have her in shorts. Um, the colors are muted, but that seems to be the palette for the movie, it seems to be more muted colors. Yeah. It's, it's a darker thing. They're trying to go. It's, I know, but it's Netflix too. It's Netflix. So, you know, you're, you're going to get what you're going to get. Um, but the problem wasn't so much of what, what she said, because, you know, she might have had some valid points. The problem was how she did it. Yeah, that's what's rubbing people the wrong way. It is the uh, uh, copious amount of snark. And again, you know, you get you get blasted on the Internet. You're going to be you're going to be salt, salty about it. Well, I have what she said, so I can read it to you for those who don't haven't seen it. And it is. It was the way it was done. It could have been done in a much nicer way and, you know, straightforward way, but it wasn't. It was, hey, guys, so as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped today, which was so exciting. And I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. I want to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Six foot, double D breasts, two inch waist. You know, they looked everywhere for that woman. They couldn't find her. It's kind of weird. So they just went with my short ass. I know, am I right? Okay, first of all, you know, I didn't see anybody saying that she was, you know, I mean, six foot double D. One, she wasn't six foot tall, by the way. No. Um. I mean, right away, I want to apologize. You're not apologizing. You're just being, you know, rude. Um, you know, there was talk about, like, can we put Daniela in a time machine and maybe give her a different, give her different parents so she has different genetic information what? to sort of make her look better? What? It proved to be too complicated. That's what she said. Now, tell me this isn't being snarky. Oh, um, it's uh, even the way she, she, yeah, it's being snarky. Oh, it gets better. The other thing I wanted to bring up was that I have a, I have to apologize. The outfit I'm wearing, right, right? It's not exactly what she wears in the anime. You know, we tried them, um, but doing stunts and tissue paper, things disappear, they rip, sometimes it just gets lost. Anyway, like I was saying, that original costume, uh, they made a couple of them, but like I said, they kind of got slurped up in my various crevices, never to be retrieved again. So we really needed to build something that could withstand the test of time. You know, so just, just, you know. 
<laughs> and I mean, okay, yeah, I get it. You know, I get it. You know, the, that wasn't exactly the most, you know, best costume for like, you know, doing action scenes. Right. And it works in animation. It might not work in reality. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But she was being really like, well, I'm going to, I guess I have to apologize to you losers. So I, you know, this is kind of like Netflix, you know, they got a lot of pushback too. I remember when they, they released the uh, first look at uh, Witcher and mm -hmm. the armor looked like crumpled it did, though. garbage bags, you know. And now I I actually liked Witcher, but I did too. Now here's the thing though, uh, I'm not a huge huge Witcher fan. Yes, uh, I'm familiar with the game via Squid King, mm -hmm. and that is pretty much it. Like I've watched him play the game, uh, I'm familiar with it on that level. Now I know Witcher fans lost their shit. They mm -hmm. were not happy with the designs. They were not happy with a lot of the the race swaps and stuff like that. So. Again, you know, you have to look at it as, you know, there are people who are fans of a franchise and they have certain expectations. Mm -hmm. When they're not met, they're they're going to get mad. You know, they're going to get mad. Yeah. And but I mean, yeah, I, I get that. I totally see that. Like, I mean, I watched Cowboy Bebop a couple times, but I wasn't like the big fan like you are of it. Um, and I get why people are upset that it isn't like look like the anime. I mean, we shouldn't always get upset in general. Why is Netflix doing this at all? Yeah, um, that's why I, I didn't bother covering it. You said go ahead and you can do a a video. I was gonna have you do it without me because I was like, I, I, I couldn't muster enough give a shit. I'm like, no, this is this is, a, I would say a fan film, but this is a, a quick cash grab. Uh, I this does not need to exist. Right, and it's uh, Netflix, so they're gonna change they're things. They're gonna changing it just because they have these mandates in place now. I am highly concerned about Edward. We have not seen Edward yet. Mm -hmm. They're hiding Edward. Mm -hmm. You think Faye, you wait, you wait. They're going to, they're going to pull the rug out from underneath us with Edward. I guarantee it. Well, I don't know, but you know, the outfit, it does loosely resemble loosely the costume. I mean, they got the colors. They got kind of the same lines a little bit. There's things they could have made. I don't understand why she couldn't wear that shirt with like a more of like a loose fitting red shirt, like the, the you know, in the shorts. And that would have been probably better. Because it would get sucked up in, into her crevices. Yeah, that wouldn't have. It needs um, to be on there tight, so that, but not too tight because we can't see boobs. But Well, I'm surprised they didn't make her, you know, pretty much just like a dude because that's what they do on Netflix. You know, all strong women are men. Um, but the flip side is I also understand why, you know, she got like, triggered to, to speak out basically she got triggered because if people were on there constantly making fun of her body and everything else that would be a little upsetting um so, but you know i think she could have handled it in a much more dignified way or just not said anything i'm looking at this costume and i'm not getting faye valentine from this i'm looking at this and i'm getting like oh uh cyberpunk 2077 yeah. character yeah no i agree with you you know like I, I can tell this is spike i can tell this is jet but i'm looking at faye and i'm like Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, you know, again, it is what it is. People are going to get, they're going to get pissy about it. And they're, you know, again, you're, you're a fan of something and they change it. You're going to get mad. Now, what's interesting, and you retweeted uh, Gary at Nerd yeah. Uh He put the video up. And I saw some other people. That's how I too. saw it. Yeah. But he mentions uh, Kevin Smith's situation. I really have to wonder. Like, does Netflix bank on fan outrage? Do they actually welcome it? Because remember what Kevin Smith said. He said that when all the shit went down with He-Man, Netflix was thrilled because everybody was talking about it. Mm -hmm. You know, does Netflix even give a shit? Or are they just like, hey, as long as people are talking about the show, they're going to hate watch it. They're going to hate watch it anyway. Because I think with Netflix, I think that first week is all that really matters. Like, are people binging the show or are they not binging the show? I think that's all they care about. Yeah. And there's some things like, like you know, Avatar and Cowboy Bebop that they probably shouldn't even try to no. do live actions of. And what they did to Avatar, what, they, what are they going to do to Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, I mean, there are some, you know, admittedly, there are some shots here that, you know, look, you know, again, I'm not getting it. Like, if you showed me this still and be like, hey, this new show's coming to Netflix based on anime, I'd be like... What, what, which mm -hmm. which anime? And then, you know, honestly, again? just changing the jacket out for more of a shirt like she wore would probably have done that. Yeah, they could have tweaked it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm not getting a good vibe from this. I, I, you know, the costumes, again, Spike looks okay. You know, mm -hmm. I'll give him that. And there are a couple scenes that look okay. But I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be like He-Man. Where it's going to be like, we're going to show you the stuff that looks familiar. Because I'm running it, the show, the anime through my head. And I'm like, we know Netflix is dealing with the budget. You can't do Cowboy Bebop on a budget. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, there's a well, lot. You of, can, but it's not going to be Cowboy Bebop. No, there's a lot of crazy shit that happens. Well, in that you show. can't really do Avatar and Budgie either, unless you make it in our world. Yeah. And then make them in school. Yeah. Oh wait, that's what they're doing. Yeah, because it would cost way too much money to recreate the Avatar world, you know, as it was in the cartoon. And I think they're going to cut some corners with the Netflix show of uh, version of uh, Cowboy Bebop too. I think it's going to mm. be very, very cheap and uh, probably very quote unquote woke. Uh, just like every other Netflix show. Yeah, so just, that's what I'm saying. It's Netflix. So I had no, I really didn't have much expectation to begin with. Oh, I didn't. I either. mean, pretty much when you see Netflix attached to it, you know, don't get your hopes up. Um, we have to see more, obviously. It's just a couple pictures right now. There's not even a trailer, is there? I don't think so. I don't know. There's no trailer. No, so this is some, some images. But, you know, I, I just think her attitude and behavior was probably not a good idea. Um, I don't, even though she has reason to be upset, which I'm not saying she doesn't, because if people were constantly, you know, ragging on my body in the comments, I wouldn't be too happy either. But if I'm on a high profile project, I'm just going to like, just not read the comments or just, you know, not comment. Or if I do so and address the costume, I'd be like, yeah, we tried it. It, doesn't, it wasn't really practical. So we had to make another version that was more practical for what we were doing. And I would have left it at that. They gave her the outfit they gave her and they made the changes they made because this is part of the, the movement to to desexualize sexual characters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Faye is a very flirty character. Well, I don't get flirty from that. Very no, much. that's exactly it. I, mean, I get, I get, uh... I get bitch. Bitch. I get intern. Intern. Um, I get <laughs> bitch. Bitch um, intern. <laughs> bitch turn. Um, no, I, I, don't, I don't get intern, but I get, I get, I get, you know, uppity Karen. Is the you know, yeah, it's not, and it's not even from the way the actress behaved. I'm talking about just from the pictures, yeah, yeah. and just looking at it, it. When I saw the picture, that's what I thought immediately. It wasn't anything to do with what she said, even though that's how she was acting too. Um, just from the photo, it just looks like she's a stick up her ass. Yeah, I mean, it, again, I, I look at this character. I don't see Faye at all. See, the um, problem with this image is I've spent too much time looking at the puppy. Puppy's cute. The puppy's all I want to look at. Perfect honestly. casting. Perfect casting for the right. puppy. Yes. I mean, that costume, I mean, she's got the, the stripes taped on. I mean, uh, you, that wasn't going to be practical for you, this. You could, meet, you could meet halfway. That's what I'm saying. You could have you you gone halfway. with this up here and then even put the shorts up to the waist. You know, it had black, black stripes down them. You know, they could have done that. There was ways you could have made it look more like the character and still took away some of the issues. Other than the shorts, I'm not seeing where the problem is. She's too boobalicious. Well, that's a six of boobs, maybe. I don't know. Uh, don't, be don't, don't be banging. And not bang. Don't be banging. Don't be tape those puppies down so say, you don't accidentally don't be, bang. Don't be slapping down. That sounds wrong too. Don't be, don't be slapping on double don't be, D's. Okay. No, oh god, no, that's gross. No, you know what I mean. Don't be like slandering double D's. Because you know what? Some people have double D's. I may or may not be speaking from experience, but I will say that, you know, it, it, it back issues suck. Anyway, um, I would, you know what, having, I, 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 logistically speaking, in the real world, it's going to be harder to do these kind of st the stunts and things that she needed to do if there were double Ds. I'm just, just telling you. Well, you know, maybe this is one of those properties that they should have just left alone and not tried to even do a live well, action adaptation. Well, that can be pretty much add it to the list. It's because a long list. Cowboy Bebop just, it's, it, I don't think... I don't think it's going to work. In, I don't think anybody can pull it off in live action. Definitely not Netflix. Netflix is the last. Netflix or Disney. Either one of those two. Mm -hmm. they, they could not pull this off. Probably not. Uh, anyway, there we go. So we got to wrap this one up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just... Don't be slapping. You know what I mean. Anyway, yeah. Don't be slapping, guys, because it leads to other stuff. Yeah. What is... <laughs> Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.